Fox 35's Robert Ray is live up in the villages tonight. So, Robert, how are people there bracing for impact? Well, yes, good evening to you. I, I will say this, many people are enjoying probably the last outdoor activities for some days here, uh, the golfing, a lot of folks here in the villages. And as you stated, you know, so many people from around the world move to Florida every single year. And if you're retired, a lot of folks are moving in here and many of them have never experienced these tropical storms or even hurricanes. So they're really nervous and taking it quite seriously. Uh, we spent the afternoon talking to many of them and let's watch. Many people here call it Florida's friendliest hometown. The villages, a 55 plus and over master plan community, is preparing for Hurricane Ian. People are just scared, you know, really, because you just don't know. And we brought everything in from outside this morning because of the wind, and then again, it's going to be a long rain engagement. At this point, the villages is expecting anywhere between 8 to 12 inches of rain, and so many people here are out and about getting their golf and activities in before the storm comes ashore. The rain, the water, it's going to be all over the place. But like I say, pay up the house insurance, button it up, and wait it out. Well, just being safe. Uh, I think we're, you know, we haven't done any major repair, but we uh, always have batteries and flashlights and candles. The benchmark for many here in the villages is 2017, when Hurricane Irma showed its wrath into central Florida, creating damage, some flooding, and power outages. If it's as bad as 17, you know, 17 was the worst one. I lived on the Gulf Coast of Texas for eight years before this, and I know a storm will do what it will do. Emergency officials here are planning for heavy amounts of rain, wind, and potential for power outages. And back here live in the villages, I, I think what that woman said is so profound. A storm will do what a storm will do. It's really quite as simple as that, really. Uh, and as this track uh, continues to uh, make its move more toward the Tampa area, boy, the villages, uh, they are going to take a ton of rain and the potential for winds. It just all depends on what Hurricane Ian decides to do, whether it slows down or speeds up. We just don't quite know yet. But people here certainly are getting in their last moments of fun uh, as they are prepping uh, for what is to come. Schools here tomorrow, uh, that's their last day for the rest of the week as people will begin to hunker down. Back to you.